Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica. I know people are requesting it. We're back. We're doing the things. Don't you worry. But today we are. We've got some exploration to do. Um, we've got some things to scan and some things to do here. So we're gonna go ahead and start by. Ooh, I need to drop some things off here. Um, I have a lot of goodies and not a lot of goodies storage. Hold on, let's see. I have this thing that I made by complete accident. Let's see if we can. Oh, I already have stuff in there. Darn it. Oh, you know what? Actually, we need to go ahead and switch our rebreather out. And why did I take my fins off? What? What? <laughs> Why did I not have fins on? I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some stuff in here. We got some batteries, I guess. Uh, you know what, let's just, can we just, uh, let's grab these. I'm gonna grab some of the stuff that I just don't really need. Throw some more batteries in there. Wow, we got dark fast. Anyways, today the goal of the plan is to get some base building stuff going. Maybe get a little bit of a base started, but we gotta go out, we gotta find the, um, the pieces that we're gonna need. All that fun stuff, you know, it's going to be a, a marvelously fantastic time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go scan, search, find, and maybe build. I don't know. We'll have to see because I think we unlocked the ability to build our, yeah, Habitat Builder tool. Um, we're going to have to build that, but we're going to go scan some stuff first and get some things ready. So yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan for the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things it does help with the channel. Let's go ahead and hit the button to read the thing. And uh, awesome. Okay, so this all looks good. Also tonight, today, actually, I am going to be live streaming some Tectonica. So if you're interested in some uh, live streaming Tectonica action, we're going to be live streaming that over on twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming. We've been playing Pokemon the last few days. We're going to play Tectonica today. And then I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the weekend. Uh, maybe go back to Pokemon or maybe we'll play something else. I have no idea. I don't know. Or maybe we won't even stream this weekend. I have no idea. So if you want to check that out, uh, make sure you head over there. I'm not sure what time we're starting yet. So, uh just a minor thing should i just do i i mean i have storage in here how much storage do i have in here though like really oh do i really want to throw a whole bunch of stuff in here yeah i do <laughs> i don't even care we'll just throw a whole bunch of stuff in here and we'll be fine actually let me leave those let's take these cyclops engine efficiency module not gonna need, we're not gonna need those also not gonna need those not gonna need that okay so i think we're good are we good oh we didn't get our ray breather I want to go ahead and get the rebreather back on. We're not going to need the, um, we don't need the radiation helmet anymore. We need the rebreather. That is by far the most importante thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So we are heading, if you don't know, and if for sometimes, you, if for some reason you're this first time playing Subnautica or watching Subnautica, leave a comment first because I'm curious how many people are actually watching this for the first time as, as a game that's been out for so long. Um, but we are heading to that cloud right there, that mess of clouds, that is a hidden island. Oh yes, they did a <laughs> they did a fantastic job of hiding the island by a by a bunch of clouds, which I find kind of funny. I am not gonna lie because like if you were on a water world right and you saw a uh, like you would probably be able to see that landmass over there. You know what I mean? Like. So why couldn't you, why, why did they try to hide it? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, uh, let's turn some lights out here, but let's go over here. Let's go to this uh, massive new island and let's get some things scanned up. Hey, look at that. You can actually see the island now. Yeah, the, the cloud cover magically disappeared. Who would have known? All right, so we are going to go ahead. We're going to go to the same place that I always go to. There's a couple places you can stop on. You know, you have, you have, you have your little area like beaches on the outside. But the one in the middle is like really the go-to one. It's just the best one to uh, to go to. So we've got this guy right here. And you know what? Hold on. We're going to grab. There is a PDA over here. So we will make sure to grab that and not forget it because I, I forget this PDA quite a bit. All right. So there's that. And then pretty sure. Yeah, we've got a tunnel there, but we got a tunnel there. So we're going to take that tunnel, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's take this tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we took the tunnel. <laughs> awesome, yeah. We okay. So I always take that tunnel. Uh, what about this tunnel right here? I always take that one main tunnel. I want. I'm trying to do things a little bit differently. Let's let's take this one instead, and let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? Where is um? Where's my scanner? All right, we are good. So we need to head up there up there and on the other side of this mountain. So let's see if we can get over there. So there's supposed to be, I think there's supposed to be a pathway that leads you like all the way around, but I normally, you know what? Let's follow the path. Let's follow the path. Normally I just try to cut up and up and over the mountain, but you know what? Let's enjoy the view. 
Uh, and let's let's have fun with this, you know, like like it's our first time ever. You know, you know, there's some games that you wish you could just play again for the first time. <gasps> there's a crab. I didn't know you could pick up the plants. Wee! <laughs> oh, he's gone. OK, this way. Yeah, I think we can go this way. Um, you know, you know, what? If, what's a game that you wish you could play for the first time again? You know, like to, to fully experience the game again for the first time and like all its wonder and like all this stuff. I honestly, Subnautica is really high up there for me because Subnautica was such a fun first experience into the type of game that it is. Yeah, see, this is the road that you're supposed to follow in order to get over here. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at these. Okay, let's pick some lantern fruits. Let's get... um. You know what? I am glad. I'm actually glad that they make the uh, this thing a requirement now because it is so much easier dealing with these stupid crabs. <laughs> oh, it's great. OK, I need a Chinese potato. We'll get a couple Chinese potatoes. You never know when you might need a Chinese potato. What's the difference between a Chinese potato and a regular potato? Whoa, I didn't realize I can pick up the boulders. There's so much you can do with this thing. Holy moly. Let's shoot this guy. He's infected. Get you. Huh, huh. No, darn it. I'm infected now. <laughs> uh, into the mountain. Oh, huh, I've caused an avalanche. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this guy scanned. Exterior grow bed. Yes, please. All right. So we've already got that. Let's go ahead and scan these. Uh, oh, my battery is like out on my propulsion deal. We should probably go ahead and change that. There we go. Much better. We are safe yet again. All right, let's see. Is there a multi-purpose room? All right. See this right here, the multi-purpose room is the core of the base. This is what we need the most. Now, I'm actually curious because they also, ah, the large room. All right, that's the first time I've actually unlocked the large room, like legitly, because they added that so much later. Um, in the life span. So two plasteel ingots versus titanium. Oh, oh, in the large glass room, glass dome. Uh, plasteel ingots are they're not that hard. Titanium ingot and lithium, I think. So uh, we're going to we're going to build one of these. Oh, I'm so, oh, my God. I was so excited. I'm actually super excited because I've never built. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a fancy, uh, fancy tablet. I have never built. Well, I built one in like a creative mode, but we never we didn't do anything with it because it was, you know, like I was, I'm not going to replay the whole game just because they added a room, you know? Um, so it's actually really cool that they, uh, to, to be playing this again. So now I can actually like play with the room and like we can actually, Oh shoot. I forgot about the base thing though. Remember we talked about building a base or not building a base and using the, um, Oh, we talked about using the, the Cyclops to be fully nomadic. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to look at the comments because I asked I asked the comments. I'm gonna have to go through and see which which one was winning that because like I could build a large base and that'd be all fine and dandy. But at the same time, like, you know what? Am I gonna be able to jump up here? OK, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be one of the new uh, one of the new things that they like disabled and you had to have a propulsion cannon or something to move something or something or other. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look to see which one was winning that because I've never we've never gone completely nomadic. But also we have the large room now. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's a decision right there. You know what I, I find interesting on this is uh, <laughs> if you look at the walls and stuff like that, like at first you would think this is like, oh, it's just abandoned and ruined, right? Um, Those look like spatters. Those look those look like if those were red, that looks like blood. I'm just saying, does it would would that not look like blood everywhere? Like if it was just red, does that not look like it would be blood? I'm I'm just saying like it 100 percent looks like it would be blood. What am I stuck on this? Great. <laughs> it, it is out. So like this. If it wasn't black, if it was red, that is that's 100 percent a massacre in here. There was a massacre in here. And you know what it was? It was those little crabs. <laughs> they came through and ate everybody. <laughs> oh, terrible. I know. OK. All right. So let's get up to we've got that one up there and we've got that one up there. OK. Let's get the propulsion cannon fragment thing back out. And uh, I really want to. I've never scanned one of those birds, I don't think. So if it tries to run away from me, we're going to propulsion cannon it and we're going to get it. Wait, didn't I just. We're going to go this way. We're going to take a shortcut. OK, to this path right here. Perfect. 
Would you look at that? What a beautiful view. Look how massive that thing is. Like, there, 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 my dot is literally the same size as our, our pod right now. And look how big that is. And like the area that we explored in that was like not even probably like, like 5% of the area. Probably like not even 1% of the entire ship, you know? It would be really cool if they made, I'm telling you, if they, they need to make like a prequel about what you're doing on this ship and like doing the things that they talked about, like asteroid mining and stuff like that, like that'd be so much fun too. They could call it Space Nautica. That wouldn't work. Maybe it would. Something along those lines. Okay. Uh, hold on. Where did those birds go? I feel like they got higher. Come on. Come to me. I like how the little fingers try to grab. It's like, come here. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, let's get our scanner out. We already got the spotlights. Uh, let's see. A composite plant pot. Very nice. And how's our inventory looking here? Okay. We're already in full. So we're not going to grab anything else. We've already got the Chinese potato. We've already got a small marble melon. So we're good there. Um, we don't have the observatory. I also don't think we have that chair or that desk. All right, one day. Oh, no, we have the desk and the chair. Okay, very interesting. All right, so now we need to head over there. So basically, we're going to walk this way and slowly fall to our death as we go uh, and hit this path right here. <laughs> See, that bird right there does not look that high. But if I come over, if I get up there, it's going to be like way higher. They don't want me to get it. Oh, <gasps> I got one. Okay. I just want to scan it. Okay. If I put it like right here, sky ray. Oh no, 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 no. You come back here. Hold on. You're going to go with me. Um, I don't want to kill you because you're a bird and like birds, you're not supposed to, you know, Oh, what if we put him in here? Okay. We'll put him in here. Oh, he doesn't know where to go. Scan him. Oh, we got him. We got the sky ray. <laughs> I have a pet. <laughs> We could, we, <laughs> I should totally get one to try to bring it back to my base. Oh, put it on a base underwater. It's like, how did you get a sky ray in here? <laughs> oh God, that'd be so fun. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, did he leave? He probably glitched out and left. That's why we're not even going to, no, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. He's cool looking though. What's up, bud? I don't think I've ever scanned one of those. Like completely, completely honest. I don't think I've ever scanned one of those. All right. Enough scanning of that stuff. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll grab that. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I missed a PDA. There's always one that I miss. I it's it's down here and it's outside. Oh, okay. See, there's the falling to the death that I was talking about. It's out here and it's I forget about this thing every single time. It's like outside of one of these bases. Okay, maybe it wasn't this one. Oh, stasis rifle fragment. That's a good find. Because now we actually have the stasis rifle. They're, both stasis rifle fragments are right here. Wow. There was one right there and one right there. It's crazy, like, if you just slow down a little bit and take your time, how you actually, like, find, like, the stuff. I didn't know that they were both right there. That's crazy. Just like I didn't know you could get all the engine fragments inside the Aurora, and I didn't know you could get all the other, like, half, almost all the other fragments outside of the, outside of the Aurora. Um, I thought there was a PDA right over here somewhere. It was right outside. Maybe it was at this one. Let's go check out this one. Okay, let's see. Was it out here? I could have swore there was a PDA outside of one of these buildings, and I always forgot it. Huh. I didn't see it at that one. I don't see it at this one. Maybe I maybe I picked it up. I don't remember picking it up, though. All right, well, we got what we need. Let's go ahead. Let's head back. Uh, let's see if we can get our habitat builder built, because I'd like to get some things. Oh, some things I'd like to get planted, but uh, we're not going to be able to plant. See, here's one of the, uh, like, shores that you can, like, come into. Um, but that's actually not where I need to go. So I'm going to try to go back. <laughs> I'm going to try to go back up here. And I want to go around this way. Eh, let me over. And we're going to dive. We're going to cliff dive, I think, from right here. Yep. Somewhere right here. Whee! Oh, not onto the... Th oh, 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 that was close. And we've made it safely back. To our floating thing. Life raft, if you will. All right, so we got some goodies here. I want to get these planted before uh, everything decomposes and it goes to rot. But I need to get... Hold on. I need to get the... I need a stasis rifle. No, I need the habitat builder. So we need a computer chip and a wiring kit. The wiring kit's going to be two silver. Computer chip is going to be... Um, table coral, gold, and copper wire. Actually, that one we probably can already make. Table coral, gold, and copper wire. Okay, so... Let's see here. You know what? Do we, what is, what is needed for a, a water locker? I think I need another one Four titanium. Let's get those. 
let's get another water locker in here and uh that way we'll have some inventory storage that we can like you know have stored if you will okay so let's go ahead and place this guy and whoa hey get back over here let's drop off that this that and that <laughs> that takes up so much room okay see these are rotten lantern fruit but we, but we can still plant them they'll be fine okay so i need gold copper silver and table coral so gold we got some gold uh we're gonna need oh yeah we're gonna need lithium because we're gonna need plastic ingots which um so we're gonna have to go explore a little bit see if we can find some stuff um you know what do i have a battery i can swap this guy out with perfect and let's go ahead let's see i think we're gonna be oh do i have any more water let's go ahead and drink that consume that no i dropped him no 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 where'd they go oh they landed on the windshield <laughs> okay we're good there so let's go down let's see if we can find some stuff here i need lithium and i need copper i need lithium and copper pretty much and silver oh we need silver too that's right shoot we need silver all right Okay, so the chance of silver resides in these things right here. So let's go ahead and let's swim around this area. There's some lead. I may have already gone around and got most of these pillars cleared off. Because this is like my first stop whenever I start a new save for silver. Because it's easy to find. Okay, so I've got... Let's see. We got two silver. We got some copper. We got some gold. Now I need some lithium. I want to get some lithium because the first building I want to build is the, um, the large room. And we're gonna need two plastic ingots, so I think it's I think it's lithium and a and a titanium ingot. So I need to go down into that cave system where we can get the um, I think it's the basalt is it basalt um, the darker nodes I think they're basalt or something like that. Um, where is that one? Where's that Where's that place that has the the cave system? I need the cave system ping. I always lose that one. Stay near cave system under attack. I need you, and we're gonna turn you to uh, orange. Cause that one I always use to find to find the cave system entrance. Okay, so we're here. Where is that cave system at? Right here. Okay. Now I actually I have increased our depth. Um, but before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and repair this thing, and then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't find. Uh, really? What was attacking it? There was like something attacking. It. I swear, <laughs> it looked like someone was attacking it. All right, we're gonna see is 300 deep enough to go down in here. Uh, it looks like it is. All right, so I just need some of the basalt here. I need I need the lithium, honestly. I don't need really anything else. I mean, there's there's magnetite here. I mean, I guess if I can just find lithium chillin', I'll take it. But um, okay, we're gonna leave this here because I just don't want to take it and have it get damaged. And we're gonna grab these. Oh, we got diamond. I need lithium. You know, I wonder if there's just lithium chillin' around here. I think there is. I think there's a spot where there's actually just some lithium. This is all magnetite here. Yeah, I don't want to play with those guys. I really don't want to play with those guys. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, all right, back into the safety of this guy. Let's go. We're just going to skirt the edge here and see if we can't find some. Um, there is one of the bases destroyed. God, there's magnetite everywhere. I thought there was lithium naturally occurring here. I could be, I could be completely wrong. All right, there's a bunch of nodes right here. Let's go and grab those. Oh, actually, I think I think I think I see a thing of lithium too. I'm trying to grab lithium in case we need want to build maybe two of those uh, buildings. Thought I saw lithium. Nope, that was okay. Magnetite, fantastic. All right, let's grab this and any more. Don't really see any. Okay, so let me see how much lithium we actually got here. So we got one. We got two things of lithium, which is enough for two plasteel ingots. So let's just take that back with us because our inventory is starting to get full anyways. Yeah, we'll just take that back with us. And then actually, I need to see what people said as far as the base goes. Are we even building a base? I mean, we're going to need the plastic only for the um, Cyclops anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But maybe uh, we need to go find the rest of the Cyclops fragments and maybe we need to start building that bad boy. I'm just trying to think because the Cyclops, so you can put, you can have food in it. Um, you cannot put a scanner room in it. I'm trying to think if like you if you can play the game without actually having a base for any reason. Um, you oh you can't have a moon pool. I mean you have a moon pool, but do you have the f does it give you the option for the fabricator to make the depth modules and stuff? I'm gonna have to look. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know there is a I know there is a um. Ooh, I don't know. We might have to build a base. 
just for the moon pool so that way we can get like the prawn suit upgrade so we can go down deep enough and stuff like that mm, i don't know okay so <laughs> uh reviewing the comments undoubtedly is the, the mobile base undoubtedly is using the cyclops um a hundred percent like they, there was there was a few other comments in there which made very good points and we're gonna have to so we're gonna have to accommodate both of both both people because the moon pool upgrade vehicle upgrade station you cannot build that in the cyclops and you have to have that in order to get the vehicle upgrades that you need so we are gonna have to have a base however what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make both. We're going to make everybody happy at once. Okay, you ready for this? We're going to make an outpost type base. We're going to build a base. We're going to have it very for minimal, minimal things in it. Then we're going to build the Cyclops. The Cyclops is going to be our 95 percent time base. OK, that's where we're going to have our storage. That's where we're going to be living um, day in, day out. That's uh, that's the kind of stuff like that. Now, if for some reason we need to come back. And, you know, maybe we need to go and like um, because we also need to build it probably would be a good idea to build some chargers for batteries, maybe build some battery chargers at the outpost, maybe build, uh, you know, the moon pool, the vehicle upgrade station, things like that. Maybe get that stuff built. Um, however, I don't think we actually need a base yet because I don't really have any upgrade modules. So I think what we need to do is I actually think we need to go get the rest of the Cyclops pieces. So. I think what we should do is let's go ahead and let's finish trying to get the Cyclops pieces because all I need is the hull. I just need the Cyclops hull fragments. Um, and we've already built the mobile vehicle bay. So let me go ahead and man, my inventory is full. Do I have another titanium anywhere? Like I need another, I need a locker. I need another locker. Okay, so I think that's going to be the best of both worlds just because like we have to have a base. We have to have a moon pool in order to get the upgrades that we're going to need. Um, and then we can also leave because we're going to be using the sea moth um, in the beginning. But then towards the end, we're going to be using the uh, primarily going to be using the, the prawn suit. So let's go ahead and let's just drop all these things off here. Uh, let's go ahead and no, 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 no. Hold on. Let's save real quick. Why isn't there an auto save feature yet? I'm just saying. That needs to happen. That needs to be a thing. Let me grab some food and water too. Do I not have any water? I thought I had some water. Oh, I do have water right there. Okay. It's actually not that much water though. Um, is this coral too? I'm going to go get some salt. I'm going to get some bleach so we can get some water. Oh, you know what? What's the battery life on this guy right now? 39%. Uh, we need to get another battery too. Because this guy just uses, I think, a battery, not a power cell. Wait, do you use, does that use a power cell? I think it, well, shoot. What do you use? Do you use a battery or a power cell? <gasps> oh, it does use a power cell. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab another power cell real quick because I have a bunch of dead batteries anyways, and all I need is some silicone. Let's go ahead and play this message. All right, I need you. I need that one and that one. Okay. Yes, it's because we blew up. Okay, so let's see. We've got a new power cell. We've got that. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I need to get some water, though. Because... Wait, did I have some bladderfish somewhere? I thought I had some bladderfish somewhere. Well, <laughs> I got a bladderfish now. Come here. Come here. I got you. <laughs> Okay, so I need I need the mushroom forest. Oh, which way is the mushroom forest? You know, I think the mushroom forest might be over by Life Pod 17. Second Officer Keen's last broken. You know what? Actually, I think that is in the mushroom forest. All right, I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that it, that's in the mushroom forest, and then we can get our hole. And then while we're over there, I think actually the mushroom forest has lithium on the ground too. So we'll grab some lithium there because I think I need pla I think I need. I'm not. I can't remember, but I think I need I need four plastilingots for the um for the cyclops and i only i think i only have enough for two right now but i could be wrong but we're gonna go look i think this is the i think the mushroom forest might be over this way mm, i don't know about this um uh, maybe it is oh yeah i think it is this i don't think this is the spikes area is it this isn't spikes this is mushroom mushroom biome really hoping this lightens up and turns into the mushroom biome i this is not the mushroom biome Okay, I was very wrong. This, this, is, this is not the mushroom biome. This is not where I'm wanting to go. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the blood kelp biome, and this is the uh, might be the entrance to the Lost River area. One of the Lost entrance, uh, River entrances, I think. You know what? The, mus the first mushroom area is actually right next to the Aurora, the front of it. There's two mushrooms area. There's one right next to the front of the Aurora, and there's one also like uh, diagonal from it. So I need to use the Aurora as my. Yeah, I went completely the wrong direction. 
Because you go through the red grass area that's closest to the spawn, and then you go down, and there's a drop off, and then you go in the mushroom forest. And then there's also Reaper Leviathans at the edge of it, so uh, I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. We might actually be able to find the hull fragments at the uh, the engine side, like over here of the Aurora, but I know for a fact there's some close Reapers there, and they, they get too close. Going over there is a very high probability of getting eaten. <laughs> Okay, so this is the red grass area, and I'm pretty sure we just continue on, and there's gonna be a slope right here that's gonna drop down, right up here somewhere, maybe. Oh, is that another crash? Oh, it is, look at that. And there's the forklift, haha. <laughs> I wish I could use a forklift. Yep, this is where it's at. And it's gonna go down, and we're gonna go down deeper, and look at that, there's the little mushroom areas right there. Okay, so I am looking for, we are looking for whole fragments. Now, whole fragments are like the easiest fragments to spot because they're literally just a giant like rectangular piece of metal. Um, and of course it's gonna get dark immediately again because it was only light for like 30 seconds. But basically I'm gonna go through here. Oh, there's a bridge fragment right there. Pretty sure that's a bridge fragment. Yeah, because the whole fragments don't look like that. Oh, <gasps> is that a, oh, that's an egg. I thought that was a, um, I thought that was one of those message pods at first. I was like, oh, look it, we're gonna find a, uh... A message. There's one. Oh, that's a moon pool fragment. What? Okay. Weird. I didn't realize the moon pool is over here. Um, I guess if we find moon pool fragments too, that'd be good because we usually the the legs of the moon pool that I find. Okay, where is the hole fragments? <laughs> Let's see in any of the hole fragments now. There we go. There's one. Ding ding ding. We got ourselves a hole fragment. Oh no, I need fluid intake though. That's not good. Okay, so that's one of three. All right, we should be able to find it. We should be able to find these. Um, I don't know what that is. That looks like a scanner room fragment. Is that a moon full fragment? What fragment are you? Oh, that's a whole fragment too. Oh, cool. It's a rounded whole fragment. You normally, I only ever find those big flat pieces. All right, so I just need one more. Oh, that's a power antenna deal. But you know what? We might actually utilize that because I'm thinking what we might use um, for power in this, again, trying to do stuff different here, is I might actually use the thermal vents. And if we get a thermal reactor, or whatever to use as a power source, I might actually try to do that. Because normally we usually just use biomass and I'll probably end up using biomass in the beginning just to power uh, some things. Yeah, I hear, I hear, oh, there's lithium right there too. I hear the the Reaper, there's a Reaper here somewhere. He's over here, I don't know. <laughs> he wants to get me. <laughs> I'm in danger. Moon pool, oh, that was a moon pool for, oh shoot. I need to go back and get that moon pool fragment. Oh, never mind. we already got it unlocked, okay. One more Cyclops hole fragment and we're golden. There's another moon pool fragment right there. <laughs> Pretty sure we already have the moon pool though. Finished. Yep. Okay. All right. Cyclops hole fragment. Where are you? There's one. Wait, is that a, is that, or is that a moon pool fragment? See now, I, I don't know. That's another moon pool fragment. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I didn't know. I, I'm learning so much in this, uh, this playthrough because I didn't reckon, I didn't realize that there are so many moon pool fragments over here. There's a whole fragment. That is a whole fragment, 100%, because it looks like a waffle piece. <laughs> All right, so that's our last whole fragment, which means Cyclops is unlocked, baby. Let's go. All right, fantastic. So that looks good. Um, you know what? Actually, we don't have the blueprint for the... Um, we don't already have the blueprint for the, the, the thermal plant. That's what I was looking for. Where is that? Oh, that's... It's somewhere easy to get to because I remember I've built it in like the starting area before. It is down because they built it. There's a base. There's a base, a, an abandoned base somewhere that has them. Oh, you know what? It's probably one of the Degassi bases, which means I need to go down into the um, into the scary areas. Okay, so I need to get back because I'm gonna die of dehydration. But I'm gonna look for salt on the way back. <laughs> See if I can find some salt deposits. There's one. Let's see if one salt is enough. I can't remember if it's enough or not. I needed a salt and a table coral, I think, in order to make bleach and then that makes water. Let's see if we can do this. Yes! Oh, good. We need that so bad. And let's get our hydration fix. Fantastic. Do we have another message? Let's play another message. Why not? Saw so a distress signal from line about 12. Coordinates attached. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go see what we need for the... Do not attempt to rescue without submersible. Okay. Oh, there's our friend! He's still floating around! 
Oh, I didn't even know he was still here. That's funny. I could have just looked at my blueprints thing, but I wasn't going to. I didn't want to. Oh, we also have the prawns here. I forgot. So, okay, three plastic ingots, um, enameled glass, lubricant, advanced wiring kit, kit, and lead. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Not too bad uh, whatsoever. So, uh, that is going to end this episode because next episode we're going to do some building. I think we're going to build the Cyclops and our for our little outpost. So, um, yeah, it's going to be exciting stuff. It's going to be exciting stuff. I think we'll go ahead. We'll start with the Cyclops. And then um, from there, then we'll go ahead and get a um, a building built, a moon pool built. And honestly, like, that's probably going to be it. Um, I just really need the, the vehicle modification station, which we actually don't even have that yet. So, uh, again, we the Cyclops is going to be our main thing of power for now. But we're also going to need a mod of... Oh, yeah, I don't know the modification station we could put on the Cyclops, but we also need to get the Cyclops upgrade for the thermal vents. Otherwise, we're going to be just blasting through power crafting everything. So the that's going to be like a, a huge priority for us as well. So that way we can park over a thermal vent, recharge up, be able to craft to our heart's content and, uh, you know, have a good time. But that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did like subscribe again, uh, we're going to stream over on Twitch if you want to check that out. It's going to be a fun time. Got to hang out, chit chat and uh, figure some things out in Tectonica. So, yeah, wonderful times. But yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.